Hello and welcome to my new art family. Hi, my name is Elizabeth of The Fierce Art and Elizabeth Art and Design on Instagram. So I finally gathered the courage to go ahead and create a YouTube channel and share to you my love and passion for arts. So for my first ever video, I decided to share with you a collective haul of watercolors sharing my current watercolor collection. A lot of them are not unboxed or not swatched yet, but just to set the tone that this will be the items that you will be seeing here on my YouTube channel as we go along on my art journey. And I would love to share them with you right now. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> First, I'm going to share with you this watercolor set that doesn't really go to the category of the artist sets. Um, that would be a debate for the Van Gogh because a lot of pro artists love this one. This one says that it is an artist grade and yeah, but I am going to share them with you, open them up and show them one by one. So this first one right here is the Faber-Castell 48 watercolors and it says it's a creative studio. So this is my first one and this is given to me as a gift. I believe it is a birthday gift by somebody very special. So this is how it looks for the box. I still keep them on the box. I just find that there's a lot of information that we can find on the boxes and um, this is how it looks at the back it goes like this so you can insert your um, your finger and then or the other way around and then you can use it for plain air or like when you're painting outdoors um, so this is how it looks 48 watercolors I have tried this I have used it we have um, four metallics and four neons and so many other colors. There's a sponge here and then we have this um, Faber-Castell, uh, what do you call this? Water brush. Um, so it goes like that. And of course we put water in there. This is how the tip looks like. And I have some sample artworks here so here is my super old sketchbook when i don't know better yet it's just a regular one and um yeah this is before i discover the convenience of watercolor paper 300 grams cotton but yeah this is just a regular one um so here i tried to swatch it and the paper wrinkled um yeah that's how it looks um, and actually, it is quite good for being a studio grade or a student grade. It was pretty nice. And I initially used this for my fashion sketch and illustration class. That's why I have these rough sketches. But yeah, trust me, I am a little bit more better than this one. <laughs> yeah, so there. And I have some pretty colors over here. I think I have another one. Um, like I tried on a loose landscape following a YouTuber. I forgot who she is. But um, yeah, it's this one that I created. Yeah, so there. And let me show you the next one. Here is another one that is gifted to me. It comes on this super cute pouch. And it looks like this. So this is how it looks inside. It says Giorgioni, 36 watercolors. This is given to me by my favorite cousin, my lovely cousin Camille, and she gave it to me on my birthday in the Philippines. So yeah, that's how it looks. And that is how it looks at the back. And it says that tin box package is better to protect the cakes. So it's cake paints or cake watercolors. Oh, it says here it is perfect choice for professional artists and students, but I could just say that this is really more for a student or a hobbyist. 
Um, those who don't need their collars to be light fast, don't need to hang them on the wall, just um, scan them. And yeah, those illustrators. So this is how it looks. It's quite generous actually. So many collars there. Some might be unnecessary for some artists. Um, we have a pencil here and uh, we have a brush that I haven't used. Uh, actually, this one I have been using and this is part of my travel kit. I bring this in. I kind of like this one. I adopted to it. I even use it for acrylic paintings. So yeah, I just place it back there just to show this to you. And I'm going to show you some of the paintings I created with this one. So I used this one following a Jenna Riney watercolor for beginners some video on YouTube. Followed by this one when I'm taking some notes. There. And there. And I believe I have a landscape also. And this is how it looks. And this is from a place here in Sweden, Gotland, very popular. This is what you see when you go by the main entrance. And yeah, I created this one using this one. This next one have been popular for quite some time, but I'm not sure if this is still available. This is the Superior Watercolor 42 that goes out as a fan, which is a pretty cool idea. And it goes like this. It's really perfect for traveling and there's like different uh, sizes different number of, of colors and yeah i forgot if it comes with a brush but i think it did i'm not sure this is a sponge which is pretty convenient also this is the swatch and obviously i made a mistake on this one <laughs> this should be here interchanged and this is a sample painting that I created with it. Um, yeah, that is how it looks. Um, since I have a lot more artist paints right now, I have forgotten to use this one, but I can still play with it when I make illustrations and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty convenient and uh, quite cool as well. I watch a lot of watercolor YouTube videos just like you guys and that is also one of the reasons why I bought this one, but I still have not found the time to play with it until now. This is untouched and yeah, this is probably the first time I'm going to open this one. I'm not going to swatch it just because um, this video is, I only intend to just share to you uh, my collective haul or the things that are on my collection. And mind you, I am a collector. <laughs> And you will see it as we go along with this video. So yeah, um, yeah, this is how it looks. And I opted for the wooden box because I find it so cool. Some have um, different opinions about this one, but yeah, I'm not sure yet. So I cannot say anything about it, but this is how the box looks like. It has a Van Gogh watercolor 24 pants in the wooden box. This is how it looks at the back. We have a little bit more information there. Okay, and let's see here. Okay. And this is how it looks like. Wow, it's a little heavy. Okay, that's quite nice. All right. <laughs> oh my God, first time I'm opening this. I'm like, I'm really unboxing this one. So let's see. All right. Okay. So we have a mixer here. It's Stalin's Made in Holland. All right. Oh, okay. That's quite good that you can lock the mixing plate in. Um, but... I'm not sure if I have it correctly though. Let's see here. Oh, I'm not sure about that because it's a little too low, but yeah, well, maybe I can fix that later on. Oh, nice. It has two brushes over here. Both of Van Gogh. It says an eight and a four selected filament. And then we have here, yeah, all right. Some of them got dislodged. 
so there i fixed it yeah but there will be a dedicated video just for this one um i will be swatching it doing a sample painting and i know that this deserves the spotlight so for now i just wanted to share with you that this is also part of my collection last but not the least is this churjoni another one which is um, i think the step up version of this one but i haven't opened it so there will be a dedicated video for this one i could say that this is the cheapest watercolor paints that i have ever bought for the 40 and before i forget i also have this one which is and before i forget i also have this art creation set which has a watercolor graphite pencils color pencils a sharpener and a sketchbook which has 120 grams so i got this from an art and hobby store here in sweden called panduro and i instantly regret not grabbing them all when i come back of course they're sold out because they're such a very good deal i got this for only a hundred swedish krona super good price but yeah so i think i'm going to unwrap this because i ordered uh, art creations in tube sets as that is what i'm going to use for my upcoming art workshops with kids as i love to teach artwork also love to share that uh, love for watercolors for sketching drawing all right so let's see here okay all right so this is the watercolor pocket box with 12 inside it that's the information okay let's see here this watercolor pocket box set i see it being sold separately i think it's even available in amazon and yeah okay oh that's a brush i recognize this brush from my rembrandt i mean about the same shape but yeah so cute i will share that with you later when i get to reach my rembrandt uh, palette yeah that's a cute one. Oh, and it goes like it, it's right here that's nice and a um, nice pocket box right here art creation always does a good job with their art materials and this is how it looks inside uh-huh you can access it from inside and from the outside that is a super cool idea a very nice design Okay, there's a plastic in front of it, but yeah, I think I'm going to create a video separately, as I always say. Yeah, so we have those are the colors we have here, and then we have the sponge. And then, yeah, basically, these are the items right here. So I probably would be doing a separate video for that too. Oh, that is so cute! wow it says here 70th anniversary from 1948 so then that was from 2018 then all right 10 sheets here and quite a decent paper but i think um, this cannot hold a lot of water but just perfect for sketching and yeah so that's all for this art creation watercolor set with the sketching materials and now i am going to share with you my artist grade watercolor collection and i'm just very excited to start it with one of my ultimate favorite watercolor brands and that is the roman schmall and as you see i almost have all of it yes i have lots of duplicates inside of this palette so many similar pens but i'm quite proud of my collection and i am going to crack opal and quite soon maybe i will grab all the ones that are missing on my collection and finally buy them so a lot of them i bought last year it's almost a year now and they are unopened yet i probably just opened two of them um, mostly this one and then another of the small sets 
um, but I have used this one and I'm quite happy about it and then the rest are going to have their own spotlights here on my channel I'm going to unbox them one by one do a dedicated video for each and every one of them when I finally do so I am going to do a comparison of the palettes so you will have an idea which palette works best for you or which one would uh, be of interest if you wanted to have just one or if you wanted to compare one certain palette to another i got your back i got you so stay tuned and please subscribe <laughs> all right so yeah let's start unfortunately i'm not gonna unbox them all but i can just show them to you though um one that i unboxed the moment that i bought it is this one this is the Roman Schmal Aquarius Travel Set Metal Box. When you flip it like so, you will see some swatches over there, a preview of it, and the number here. We have the name, and then we have the pigment numbers over there. So there you have it. And then we slide it like so. Reveals a nice tin can over here. And oh yeah, here you go. I have the swatch card I did not use because um I, I plan to use that when I create a separate video for this one. But this is the calling card for the place where I bought it, which is also in Krakow, Poland. That's my receipt over there. Yeah, and they were like super nice. The people there are super nice, so accommodating. They gave me a discount and even gave me a free Restauro House brush, which you will see on another video because I'm also going to share with you my watercolor brush collection and that's quite a lot too. <laughs> Alright, so this is how it looks. Um, yeah, when we open it, there you go. I have my own swatch and that's how it looks. I have made some paintings over here. I probably will just go ahead and um, share them with you here on the screen. So that's my swatch and I just laminated it so there but as I mentioned for all of them I will create a dedicated video. video. Roman Schmal has a new set now which is the Urban Sketch Kit that comes with the Da Vinci travel brush. I'm gonna show a comparison of this one on that one on the screen because I made a comparison. Um, check it out for myself yeah and yeah let me continue here then uh, this is the biggest palette that they have i have this one as limited edition it actually comes on a box like this one so it was inside here and i think i have a cool number here i have the number 250 of um 2021 directly from the, sh the shop if i'm not mistaken from the roma small shop in krakow poland so that is how it looks not open yet as i promised there will be a separate video for it and this one has 36 bands in there this next one is a selection of roma small watercolors by jane blundell and she's an Australian artist and we watercolor lovers know her. She is our reference for swatches and reviews for watercolors. These are the ones that she have chosen, but this deserves a spotlight. So I will create a dedicated video for it. Well, for all of them, for sure. Next, we have an Aquarius watercolor set. And this is... Mona Omrani, I am following her on Instagram. She is brilliant and she is the owner of Watercolor Academy and Art Gallery. She's a master painter at international events. So um, compared to the Jane Blundell, has 24 colors on tin can and uh, this one has 28 colors and oh my gosh, I'm seeing there, misty morning and some other beautiful colors. So this really deserves the spotlight, which she will surely have. Next, another 24 sets of watercolors, but not on a tin, is this one. And this is the Aquarius by Pasqualino Fracasso another master painter and these are the color selection beautiful just just 
these colors this selection are so beautiful i'm very drawn to it so i really cannot wait to open this and then share it with you swatch it and we're going to have lots of fun swatching this one here on another big metal box is the aquarius hortus botanicus so yeah more of like the botanical colors for painting and then here we have that um, it is isabella Wolska kusimiter i hope i did not butcher that one who is a faculty um, member of architecture of the warsaw university of technology and a graduate of botanical painting studies in great britain so yeah so she's the one who created this palette right here but this one only has four eight twelve colors but on a larger tin can so you can if you buy this one you can still use the remainder space to put other watercolors but yeah we will check this out as soon as possible as well so the only one in this long tin can in my collection is this aquarius metal box with 14 pens and this is called the aquarius mixing palette the one from roman schmaltz mixing colors and their choices over here more about this very soon now we have this aquarius in 12 pan set this is on a cardboard and this is the one that is curated by Krzysztof kowalski so there are two more of these and the ones that i am missing are the aquarius roman schmal adam papke edition with 12 colors and then the roman schmal aquarius watercolors by arthur previous which is also a 12 full pan on about the same cardboard same size but different colors so hopefully i will get my hands on those i actually bought the adam papke but i shared my love for roman schmal so i gave it away to somebody very special and dear to my heart and um yeah i knew that um she loved the colors also and lastly i have these small editions and these are quite special because these were sets that are very exclusive to art events watercolor events for example this one is the um, five colors set for the monza in aquarello 2021 we have the european watercolor exhibit and symposium ecws 2018 in krakow and then the ECWS Exhibition and Symposium on Estonia in 2019. So this one is available on Jackson's Art. And these are the colors that um, you can find in here. And I got them and they were given to me when I visited the Roman Schmal shop in Krakow, Poland. So I'm very happy. I'm very lucky to be able to go to their shop, check it out, and then grab a lot of goodies for myself. And I am going back there very soon. I'm super excited to meet them again and finally have my collection complete. So a huge part of my YouTube channel will be dedicated to Roman Schmal and my love for these paints. So yeah, I am a crazy collector and I really cannot wait to and play with them make so many artworks with this and this will be a huge part of my watercolor journey so now let's proceed to the other brands so now we have here my rosa gallery watercolor set so rosa gallery is produced in ukraine and developed in collaboration with professional artists there is a gallery version and then a studio one and um, i prefer the gallery one so this is what i have i bought a small one for travel the regular um, size that fits um well it's different for rosa gallery because they have full pans so this one fits a uh, 14 classic colors and then there's this one that has 21 of those 2.5 ml pans right here and then i also have the ones with the 10 ml tubes in classic colors so yeah let's dive in 
The first one I unboxed is this one right here and then I tested it. I did some paintings with it and it's quite fun to use. So this is how the box looks like and then of course um, it's nice that they have information about the color, the pigment, even the light fastness is right there and the transparency is also included. So that's really cool. It has this sleeve that we can remove, reveals a a uh, blue box right here and yeah so they have two colors for the tin one is this color and then the other one you will see very soon and this is how it looks so yeah i have played with it so i have swatches and this are the swatches of the colors that we have right here so if you see that there are colors that is not unpacked and that is because there are colors from this set that are similar to the urban sketch. So let me just go ahead and open that so we can compare. All right, so this one is the one that I have been using quite a lot lately. It's the urban sketching set with 12 of the 2.5 ml colors. That's so beautiful. And this is how it looks at the back. Same information. I got this once, I believe all of them I actually bought from Amazon here in Sweden. Because I couldn't find it, um, and that's the only place I found it when I bought it like about a year ago. And this is how it looks. All right, so that's the difference between the two colors of the tin. We have the darker one, and this a little bit with a hint of gray. Yeah, that's the difference in sizing. And then I have another one right here, which I can open up later on. Yeah, but so this is how it looks right here. I got the swatches. And then I made a sample painting at the back before laminating it just so I can see how the colors look like. I posted this on my Instagram. So yeah, check it out on at um, Elizabeth Art and Design or the Fierce Art. So that's how it is. Um, yeah, they have the big pants, which has a very cute shape. And yeah, it's different. All right, so yeah, let me open this one. I'm just going to do a dedicated video, of course about this but yeah that's the comparison and that's the reason why there's some that are not open even though this is the first one i opened and then this, this was the next so i just like transferred the other ones because i use this one quite more often since i love urban sketching and i have been traveling a lot so yeah let me open up the other ones this one i have not opened yet there's so many similar colors as well but it's good to have backups for me all right so that's how it looks and this is called the uh, um modern the modern set those are the colors included in this one uh this one has titanium white i hope that was a uh, buff titanium instead but it's okay um i usually uh, use that for mixing it in great pastel colors all right so this is how it looks so yeah that's the difference between the three cases and being a collector i just want to have them all and i also um wanting to grab the one that is on a plastic case so we will see that soon on my channel and just a quick look this is how it looks when you unbox it and like so so this is only 21 colors so you can put seven more over here and that is how it looks and if you wanted um, almost all of your colors in your collection you can just go ahead and remove this one and then put all of your pants underneath which i have done on my other palettes as well lastly this set i have not opened it yet and yeah i plan to create a dedicated video but perhaps we can do a sneak peek of this one yeah i've <laughs> been uh, holding off for quite some time already and i really wanted to open this one also so yeah maybe we can take a quick peek because i also wanted to um, create a smaller travel set for uh, rosa gallery paints all right maybe this is good enough <laughs> all right but yeah this is how the box looks like um, it says 100% gum arabic and organic pigments over there same but here you can see how it looks the box and then the um, sneak peek of what's inside has a rosa engraving in there all the colors and some information and let's see 
I am a super huge fan of uh, Rosa Gallery watercolors also. And I have made several artworks using this paint. And I'm quite happy with the results. So yeah, this is how it looks. Oh my gosh. Now we have an unboxing. <laughs> little 360 over there. Okay, and ta-da! Wow. Wow, that is so beautiful. The box itself is such a work of art. I love the craftsmanship of this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and open them. All right, so there will be a dedicated video for this one also. So exciting. Oh, wow. This is how it looks inside. Some of them have been moving around. They're like partying inside. So much fun. And yeah, there is another version of this, um, I believe, which is a collaboration with a beautiful artist. Yeah, but I bought this one and that was not available before. So yeah, I got this one first. And yeah, quite happy with it. I'm so excited. I am going to I mean, I share with you more paintings, artworks, and swatches. And maybe we can compare it just in case there's a difference with the one straight from the tubes and then the ones that are already on the pans on these sets. Yeah. So here are my beautiful watercolors from Rosa Gallery in my collection. And I cannot wait to have each and every single one of the colors. One of my favorite artwork, which I probably just used maybe one or two watercolors, three including this very premature <laughs> um, grapes over here. But this one I love. And yeah, I will show on the screen how I made this one. It was on my tiktok and my instagram also but yeah you will see me play with this watercolors more here on my youtube channel so please subscribe so this next one is the white nights by nevskaya palitra and on this channel it's all about the art and i'm not supporting the war so uh, Nevskaya Palitra have been in the watercolor industry for such a long time. They have very good paints and a lot of the artists love the watercolors. So I jumped into the bandwagon as well and wanted to try them. They are not open yet and the first one I ever bought was this one together with my Rembrandt watercolor. Got it from Jackson's Art. I did an unboxing video on my TikTok and Instagram and put it as reels for this one but nothing has been swatched yet so i'm just going to show you that this is what i have but i'm going to create another video about them so first one is this and this is the white knights 12 colors in pen that's what it says there here are the colors with the uh, information about the pigments and plastic box 12 full pans in half oh no was it a full pan yeah they are full pans rather this one also came in the mail and this is the white knights granulation set of extra fine artist watercolors i bought two sets because the other one will be on a future giveaway to all of my loyal followers and subscribers so stay tuned all right so here we have the white knights botanica this is a limited edition set they have released four I only have two of them um, and then we have here the urban landscape another limited edition right here and this case so it was such a good price um, because I got this from the Baltic States and I noticed that in the Baltic States they mostly have white knights there and the uh, Royal Thailand some line of uh, their different watercolors like the art creation the Rembrandt and Van Gogh and so this holds this can hold 36 inside it so that's it for my white knights and they will see you very very soon again so after the eastern european watercolor brand now I'm going to share with you the Central European watercolor brands, starting off with Lucas. And this one I only have on this travel case. And it looks like this. You can put your finger right there. So when you go and um, 
paint when you travel it will be easier doesn't come with anything fancy the box just looks like this i have a video of unboxing this one and it was fun to swatch it the swatches i made was so cute and yeah so this is how it looks when you open it and i created a new swatch card over there so it's just like so so what i did is that i put the wrapper underneath let me just go grab that one so i see the details over here if you see that my paints look like they're all brand new it's because i really take good care of them if i see some splashes or if it's dirty i clean it so there um aquarel 1862 lucas so i really like the wrapper because it has a lot of information so i just rub them one by one in there yeah so hopefully i'll be able to add a little bit more on my lucas aquarel collection but yeah that's it for this brand another german brand is the schminke horidam aquarel and this is actually one of my first watercolor palettes but i have not opened this one yet i didn't have the time to do so but yeah i am going to do that after this video so yes um that's how the box looks like and then just like an unboxing experience and it goes like this oops it's the back part still have the ring for us to insert the finger and then it goes like so you can use it for painting plain air or when you're traveling or when sketching really nice uh, logo right there and then it has a swatch card over here goes like this So you can create your own color chart, which I will do, I promise. <laughs> and then, so this is just a basic one. Those are the colors that we have right here. And yes, I have to, I have to go ahead and use this one. And I really wanted to have the Schminke Super Granulation watercolors also. So that is coming up very, very soon here on my YouTube channel as well. I have here now a French brand of watercolors on a metal box. And I got this one which has 12 plus 6 watercolors. This is honey based and it's the extra fine aquarel of sommelier so this is how it looks for the box you do not see the pigment information at the back so i swatched this one all right just very simple over here and it has this uh, plastic that shows the pigments instead of the box. And here's how it looks. So we have 12 plus six over here. What I love about the Snellier half pens is that it has the information also on the pens itself. So it's easy to move your half pens around if you wanted to put it on a different container a metal box or a plastic box or when you travel it is easy to know which one it is um, for the other ones i have to write them on the half bands so here are the swatches that i have made for this set and we have three stars for the light fast i put the names in there and this is super cute like every palette i have a theme um, but i made this like last year when i was beginning and i forgot about it so i did a different way of swatching but i think i will go back to this one i will do a separate video of course when we do the in-depth review of the sennelier so oh this was the one supposed to be for horridum 
um, but I have not yet done it. So that's about it for now for the Snellier and it will make a special appearance very soon. And representing the Netherlands, I have here a brand from Royal Talents and this is their like top notch, the artist quality, the highest to the top of the top <laughs> for their range of watercolors. And yeah, here you go. I have um, the 12 pants and a sable brush set. This is the artist quality one. And Rembrandt had different ones. There was a granulating and some others that I found. I do not see them on the shops or shops close to me, but I think that this is very popular on the Baltic States and in Eastern Europe, all over Europe actually. Yeah, so this is from Jackson's. That's how it looks at the back. You know what? I am appreciating this so much because at the back of this box it says, looking at the world behind the reality, feeling how the elements adapt to a single wheel. Working with colors and techniques that give shape to the steepest of inspiration. That is art. Amazing, amazing. So this is how it looks. It's a regular tin can. I actually brought this on my recent travel when I went to uh, Riga, Latvia, road tripping all the way to Tallinn, Estonia. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, I remember now. Oh, yes. All right, so these are my swatches. And um, I did a sample painting at the back. And this is how it looks. And this is the first time that I actually tried this paint. It's quite good. And I did a, like an urban sketching style. Um, so here you go. And these are the original colors that are from here. This additional swatch were from the other paints that I bought, which is a huge haul. I will show it in a separate video too, also. All right, so here I got a lot of a Rembrandt once I took advantage of it because it was a little bit better priced than in Sweden. Everything's super expensive here, <laughs> art materials, everything. So yeah, I got a lot and I almost have all of the granulating sets. I think I'm only missing French Ultramarine and I added a little bit more of the ones that are not on the pan. So yes, so I can duplicate the granulating sets that re were released on the pan into this one's tubes so I can have more of them. So here are the swatches for the granulating ones and basically that's it. This next one I am a little hesitant but I really feel like I need to show this because it's part of my collection. I have been holding off and postponing the unboxing for this one and this represents Italy and Italy it's a Gallio. This is actually something that I'm super, super excited about, but I feel like I wanted to give it justice, like a very nice unboxing, and I just haven't found the time to do so. So here is the box straight from Italy, and I did a sneak peek on this one, but I haven't really opened everything yet. All right, so this is how it looks. <sighs> so beautiful. So we have the Agalio business card right here. And then that's Selena's signature. Thank you so much. So beautiful, even a watercolor paper for this one. Here is another one, it says Agalio Handmade in Italy. And this is just giving a little bit more information about the brand. And she was really nice to go ahead and add uh, this item right here. And this is a an echo bag. So awesome. So this echo bag is quite big. So it will be perfect. It can fit um, an A3 size of paper if I'm not mistaken. And then you can go painting plain air and use this too. Oh yeah, we have a little bit of information here. Um, agaliocolors.com and at agaliocolors for Instagram. And here is a paper sample. I am super excited to try this one. 
it is also being sold on the website of a galio i believe i have about two three pieces over here of this beautiful cotton watercolor paper but yeah i will reserve that for swatching or an art video instead and here it's a tintoretto number eight travel brush i believe i requested for this one um since i have a very big order if you make a request then a galio will be able to accommodate it nicely if you make some reasonable requests and yeah this is what i did because i exchange i just exchanged it with some other brush if i'm not mistaken and then i have two palettes over here so this is the first one that i bought i really thought about which one i am going to get because i even compared the colors and the prices but actually when i was buying it if i remember it correctly things got sold out so fast so i have some wish list and then like yeah then i acted a little bit faster so here Okay. Oh, this is the Vendemia. Vendemia palette. This is a small one on a tin can. Okay. I'm always very careful with, <laughs> with unboxing. Alright, this sticker is too strong. And this is how it looks super beautiful box actually handmade in italy and look at that look at that so exciting carefully boxed in there okay i didn't want to waste it so i will try to just like slide this oh i was able to do so that's awesome all right aha of course of course all right so this is how it looks so this is how it looks the beautiful vendemia on the smallest tin can all right so amazing we have lots of reflection there honey water colors it says a Sissy A. Gallio handmade in Italy. Oh, look at that. So cute. There's a little swatch card. Amazing and beautiful 300 grams watercolor paper, if I'm not mistaken. But oh, there was a warning in there. Okay. Choking hazard, it says. And those are the colors. So I will reserve this ones for doing the swatch video instead. So the next one and the last one that I will be unboxing is a set. So it compromises with a cherry wood case over here with the three other Tintoretto watercolor travel brushes. And then this one that I have chosen is the signature two. So let's unwrap it. Okay. So here we go. Ta da! Oh wow! So this one has a photo of the, as I believe that's the signature one and two together on the bigger tin can 
metal case all right and welcome to the signature collection our handcrafted honey watercolors are made from the highest quality pigments gum arabic from the akasha tree local honey from umbria and rosemary essential oil the signature collection contains decisive and vibrant single pigments and unique secondary color blends this series of colors is at once clean and bright granulating and deep thank you for supporting your family artisan workshop buena pitura e galio oh that is so cute oh granulating i love granulating watercolors that's amazing all right so as usual carefully wrapped here you really feel the luxury the thought the heart that was given on each and every packaging so this is how it looks a different um, wrapping paper beautiful okay it's gonna slide this here and here it is oh so awesome so the logo is on this side instead all right let me just check out the bottom of course we have this one so if you wanted to travel you can just easily hold your palette like so like a ring and then this is how it looks inside another swatch card beautiful and a warning And our watercolors inside. Oh my gosh! Hi, I have the number six here. Okay, let's see. This is so beautiful. Oh, I wanted to unwrap this one because I thought that I have only that one because i have just three brushes on the cherry wood box already so let's see this one tintoretto 1337 synthetico oh okay it is another number six but i think i already have one on my cherry wood yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, but I will show you how this one looks like. So, these are the swatches of how the colors really look like. So, we really have a good idea of how it will be when we do the watercolor painting with it. So let's go ahead and unpack the brush. It's super exciting because I love brushes. I'm a brush hoarder too. The next video will be my watercolor brush collection. All right, so, okay, that's another palette. I forgot which one was that. Okay, and then of course we have this one. Some business card again, and then it's the number eight instead of the number six. Okay. All right. And this is the beautiful brush. I really love mop brushes. I just really feel like um, I am being drawn back in times where this is the only watercolor brushes that are being used super beautiful let's compare it with the number six okay so obviously the sixth one is a little shorter and this one has more bristles in here all right and last but definitely not the least i'm super excited with this one I love beautiful packaging and um, yeah, I just really love brushes like I mentioned. This one I already did a sneak peek but 
usually on dark light so now i finally have a little bit of a better natural light so let's check it out oh my gosh okay so i just see something right here so it says please take care to open your artisan palette no more than 80 degrees uh -huh, okay all right i don't think it's more than 80 degrees beautiful beautiful pouch also really feels like it's handmade and a beautiful drawstring to protect the beautiful look at that it's so stunning oh wow the craftsmanship on this one beautiful engraving of the logo tintoretto made in italy over there especially for a gallio so this one has two slots top and the bottom so the top one goes like this wherein you can put about one two three four five six nine nine watercolors so i can just grab the nine colors that i need when i travel from these two sets that i have and then put it there and then we have a beautiful mixing space over here that's amazing oh i think that this one this slot right here you can even put the brush if i'm not mistaken like so oh it, it falls but oh, yeah i did i just didn't put it correctly all right just put it a little bit like mm. <laughs> like like that so that works okay amazing and then the bottom part would be ta -da! and it reveals three more of my brushes so let me unwrap the two and then we can compare the sizes so here they all are all four of them number two four six and eight the only thing i'm missing is the number 20 which is always on my card and i cannot wait to go ahead and grab very soon i am just waiting for some new products from a galio they mentioned that um they will be having the tubes in the near future so i cannot wait and i'm going to add the number 20 mop brush when that is released so there you go and i cannot wait to go ahead and share with you my artworks using all of this beautiful a galio art materials this will not be the last for sure and i will do a lot more hauls and of course we'll do paintings and do the swatches for the two palettes over here and now for the brands from the united states i have here m gram and i have the 10 color deluxe watercolor set this is made with natural honey and it is a 15 ml tube right here so i have chosen a set because i really wanted to try a lot of their colors and usually it's a good value this is how it looks on the side handcrafted in the usa and these are the colors at the back right here we have azo yellow as orange pyro red permanent lizard crimson in purple ultramarine blue Phthalo, cyanine green, sap green, nickel quinacridone gold, and burnt sienna. Okay, and this is how it looks if we open it inside. Actually, it's two cardboards in here, so I just like put a sticky, um, what do you call that? I forgot what it's called, but yeah. That, that looks like a gum so it goes like this and that's my 15 ml tubes and then I poured this in to this travel case right here I have used this several times it went on a few trips with me and I put it on this wooden um, watercolor case right here and I just put my signature so like this 
I have a little swatch card over here. And then these are the colors and I believe I did it exactly how it was on the back right here. So I just followed through. And it always looks so wet because of the honey binder but I don't really have problems with it um, here in Sweden sometimes I notice that the bees are coming in the wasps are coming in but they don't go directly to these paints so that's all good and I really like the vibrancy of these paints so this is also one of those that I really really like and last but definitely not the least still coming from the United States the watercolor brand that is preferred by a lot of master artists we're talking about Daniel Smith extra fine watercolors so I have several right here and a trivia is that the first ever watercolor brand that I ever had when I got into watercolors is actually Daniel Smith. It was given to me as a birthday gift by mom. <laughs> and I'm just really, really happy that I get to try this once. When I initially got it, I didn't really play with it right away. I didn't know about Daniel Smith. I didn't know about watercolors and brands so much. So when I finally knew about it, I got super excited and then I played with it and then I built my collection. So this is currently what I have right now. And um, I initially started or I was given some tubes like primary colors. I believe that it was the Permanent Alizarin Crimson, a new Gamboge, and I have one blue, which is, I think, the Ultramarine Blue. So these were the colors that I got from the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. I think um, I was given a lot more, like quite a lot more. I should have an amethyst here somewhere, one of my favorites, but yeah. These are the three tubes that I started with and I still have it because I got pants or half pants afterwards. So that's my current collection. I think, uh, yeah, since I'm already talking about the tubes, let's get started. I don't have a lot of these, just several ones, but um, yeah, I think it will be a very long video if I show you one by one, I'm just gonna try. I have a pearlescent white here. I like those some iridescent pearlescent colors. Serpentine Genuine, I really love that. I love the Primatech line, of course. Jade Eye Genuine. And then I have an opera pink right here. We have hematite genuine, so the light genuine, pyamontite genuine, very beautiful. Everybody's favorite, the moon glow. And this is um finished already. I just kept it here. Mayan blue genuine. And then I have a quinacron shanna, also finished. I have two whites because in the beginning I didn't know that. To make things pastel, you can actually go ahead and mix buff titanium instead of white. So I still have those right here. And then I have the big tubes and those are the, uh, what do you call that? The iridescent pearlescent line. Like this is a dual chrome hibiscus. Interference lilac over here. I have electric blue. I have... Um, and thick silver, one of the first ones I tried and I really love. Dual chrome Adobe, I love that one too. Um, dual chrome turquoise, I haven't played with that so much. And this, I, this were pretty new to my collection also. And this are the, well, this is just recently added to the Daniel Smith watercolor line. These are the um, watercolor sticks, they call it right there. So I just have, um, I actually chose a rainbow of colors right here. So I have a uh, new gamboge for yellow, viral orange, could have done red for red. I have a sap green, I have a potato blue, I have an imperial purple, and I just added a pink one. <laughs> Another opera pink. Yeah, so um, I have one painting right here using all of those, and that's this one. So I just um, took a brush and then painted straight from the troops. I mean, like, like 
<laughs> if you get what I mean. But yeah, soon I will also show you um, how I paint with those watercolor sticks. All right. Um, and then I bought this one about a year ago. Um, I should have posted it on Instagram when I bought it, this one. So yeah, I had the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. We have 12 here and it has bonus 12 empty half pans. So the tin can looks like this. And those are the colors that we have right here, to be honest. In the beginning, I didn't really appreciate the selection of colors, but as I keep on painting with Daniel Smith, I love them to be um, to the point that I moved um, two of them on a set that I always bring when I travel. All right, so yeah, see, I have already um, used the, the extra pens for some other colors. And most of those, they're not in there actually. <laughs> Yeah, these were from the troops that um, I got from uh, art by Karen Henriksen. So go ahead and follow her on Instagram. And um, the Daniel Smith half bands um, that come from a set has a logo at the bottom like so. It's quite pretty. Alright, so this two, the lavender and the wisteria. Let me just grab them right now. I have them both on the set that I always carry when I travel. It should have been this, right? But I feel like this is more lightweight and I, I like see-through cases. So I moved a lot of them in here and this have undergone several, several changes and updates already on the collar. So we, um, as for now, these are the ones that I have and uh, you do not really need this much colors but I really like convenience colors especially when I wanted to paint fast um, yeah and I have all or I don't think all but most of my interference colors over here yeah so I just um uh, organized it by color I have a, <laughs> a rainbow again red orange yellow green and that maybe well, I consider the lavender a blue, even though it's not supposed to be, but I wanted it there, like my pastel blue. And then the wisteria is over here. And if you want, I will do a separate video on swatching each and every color on this um, palette that I have. So this is like my studio palette slash my travel palette as well. That's all of them. Um, a little trivia, everything that is on top of the interference for this uh, Shining Shimmering Splendid ones are the Primatic line over here. So they're the Primatic versions of what I feel like could uh, go along with this rainbow of colors there. So that. Um, and then the one that I usually bring when I go on or when sketching when i travel the one that fits on my pocket on in my bag is this one so i created this set and these pants are uneven <laughs> because i took them from eyeshadow palettes that i do not use and i removed the powder transferred it elsewhere and then i took the pants and yeah so that's how it is and this case is a Pretty nice stainless steel, quite hefty too. This one it used to be a card holder, as you see in here. But yeah, um, I really wanted to create another one, but they do not sell this particular one anymore. I really like this part because it holds my swatch card in place over here. And this is, if you remember, this is how I do my swatch card. And also, I have this old um, <laughs> uh, gym card right here and I just used the uh, back side as my mixing plate. So I do it like so. And yeah, I really love this one. So um, I just worry about it uh, having some problem with the rust in the future. But at the moment, it works quite well for me. By the way, this is the um, swatches that I made for this set. And then the colors that I added at the bottom are here too. And we can talk about this in the future, but 
I think I have already edited the lower part as well, but the top part I kept the same just so I have a reference of how it was from the set itself. Yeah, I really like this swatch, it really shows the beauty of the color and oh, that Serpent in genuine is just so stunning. And I have two extra watercolor cases right here. This is all the extra pens, half pens that I have, some duplicates and some that does not fit on the regular ones that I use on a daily. So this is just on a tin can of a candy and I put in here. And these, okay, these are the, yeah, so I think it's only Amethyst Genuine and the Rhododonite that I have duplicates of and the rest um, just didn't fit on these two cases at the moment so that's what they are and they're mostly the Primatech line in here maybe except for the red iron oxide there so that's about it that is all of my Daniel Smith watercolors and that's all for my watercolor collection Thank you so much everybody for watching my first ever video here on my new YouTube channel and please go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts. Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram are all The Fierce Art and another Instagram account is Elizabeth Art and Design. See you all on my future videos. Thank you, my new Fierce Art family 